Well, the idea of thinking routines came about from a, a study which I did. I spent a year in six classrooms in which teachers were very adept at getting their students to think, nurturing their habits of mind, their thinking dispositions with that. And I wanted to study and wanted to see what teachers were doing um, that actually encouraged that. And that, um, from that study, the ideas of kind of developing a culture of thinking was very important from that. But one of the things that I noticed in that context was these teachers who were very adept at getting students to think never once taught a thinking skills lesson. Instead, what they did, and what I noticed they did, was they had routines and structures that helped to scaffold and support students' thinking. So just as we have routines for kind of the housekeeping chores in a classroom, so we have routines about how we're going to have a discussion in the classroom, routines about how the learning's going to unfold, we need to have routines that help to scaffold and support the thinking so that students know what that's all about. And I saw that these teachers were doing that. They were patterns that recurred over and over again so that students in those classrooms knew what it meant to, to think like a historian, knew what it meant to think as they were reading and interpreting text, you know, to think in mathematics or in science. Um, and so that idea of thinking routines, we took that and thought about, well, what are some other structures we can develop that teachers can then use and make patterns in their own classrooms?